Hi, welcome to the webinar here. My name is Rob McConaughey and I'm with New Reality Media and today I'm going to show you how to work less and sell more using the 80-20 rule and your analytics. So first of all, a little bit of who I am. Uh, my name is Rob McConaughey, as I said. Um, I'm a father of two kids. I got one boy and one girl and I'm the husband to Krista and a business owner. And I live in Squamish, BC. And my marketing systems have sold over $2 million for my clients and I've been helping clients online for a little over three years. So one of the issues that I see with some of these clients is that people spend a lot of time working on things that don't give them the biggest return on their time. And unfortunately, time is the only commodity we don't get more of. And I'm actually guilty of this as well. I spent a lot of time working on stuff that didn't actually give me the result that I wanted. So how can I narrow this down to make sure I get the result that I want uh, with the least amount of effort put in? Well, there's a rule called the 80-20 rule, and it basically states that for many events, roughly 80% of the effects or the results are from 20% of the inputs or the causes. So we wanna find what that 20% is that will give us 80% of the results. And I'm gonna actually show you how to do this using your analytics. So what you need, you're gonna need a sales funnel that people go down or traverse. You will need the conversion rates at each step of the funnel, and you will need the goal that you wish to fulfill. In this case, we're going to use the example here of a goal of selling 20 marketing programs, let's say. And we're going to sell the programs two ways. And we're going to use the analytics from our site so that we can show the best route to sell these 20 items. All right. Now, these are just so you know, these are actual analytics from the site that I work on. All right. So they are actual real conversion rates. So we're going to do this through a funnel on our website, and then we're also going to do this through a webinar funnel, and we're going to see which one gives us the best results for our effort. So in the website funnel, you know, we're going to sell through our site, and so basically people will come to our site, they'll click on a banner which leads them to a lead magnet, and then they're going to uh, go from that lead magnet to a tripwire, which is basically a low uh, cost entry purchase, and then through email or either through a page, they're going to go to our core offer. Okay, and purchase our core offer. And so the structure is going to be, we got them a banner click. So they're on our site. They click on a banner, which leads them to the lead magnet, which they fill out, which then has them either purchase a tripwire offer or on a subsequent email that they receive because we got their information from the lead magnet, they purchase the tripwire. And then they purchase a core offer, either through an email or another landing page that we go to, or even retargeting ads if you went that way. And so the conversion rates for these, for the banner click is 8.5%. For the lead magnet is 25.8%. So that means of those 8.5% that clicked on the banner, 25% of those took the lead magnet and filled it out. 7.6% uh, took the tripwire. And of those 7.6% that took the tripwire, 12% of those purchased the core offer. So now we do a little math. And don't worry, it's pretty easy math. So basically, we have over here the 20 items that we want to sell. So this is what we have in the end. And then we have all of the different percentages of conversions here. So this was the banner click, the lead magnet, the tripwire, and then the core offer. And then we got it. The last number here is X because it's the unknown amount of how many people does this have to go in front of for us to find those 20 or sell those 20. So if we change this around a little, if you remember, if we put X on the other side of the equation, we can do 20 divided by all of those percentages. And that works out to 96,000 people. So this means that we need to get 96,000 people to view our site to meet our sales goal. So that's going through the website funnel. Let's take a look here at the webinar funnel. So in this example, we're going to sell through our webinar funnel. And basically, the webinar funnel is people register for the webinar on a web page. We need to get them to show up, so we send them emails to remind them, and then we need to sell them the product on the webinar. So they purchase right there or shortly afterwards if you've got like a, a time delay of uh, how long the offer is going to stand for. So what do we need? Well, we've got our we webinar registration, we've got our webinar attendance, and then we've got our webinar conversions. And so those numbers are we get 30% of the people showing up on the webinar page actually fill out the page. 25% of those people show up to the webinar, and then finally 12% of those purchase our offer at the end. 
And so the math on this again, we've got our 20 items that we're wanting to sell. We've got all of our percentages of our conversions, and then we've got the number that we want to find at the end. So again, switching it around here. So we're dividing 20 by those percentages, which brings us to a result of 2,223. So that means we need to get 2,223 people to view our registration page to meet this goal of 20 sales. So 96,000 versus 2,223, which one would you choose? As you can see, the best bang for a buck is out of doing webinars. And this is where statistics and analytics come in really handy to make sure that you're focusing your work or your attention where you're gonna get the best results. That's by putting it into doing the webinars, getting people in there and doing the sales through that. So just a few words of caution here, legalese and warning here. Um, first of all, these are actual statistics from an actual website. These are not representative of what you may actually have, all right? The other thing is this method depends on accurate statistics. That means you got to know that your statistics are correct because if they're not, these numbers are going to be out and the results may be different. And you always want to work from actual statistics, not your industry standards because how you do a webinar may not uh, be the same as how somebody in the industry does a webinar and your conversion rates may be higher or lower than the industry standards. Uh, you also, if you don't know or have your statistics, get them. Always go from your statistics rather than trying to take it from, say, the industry standards. Knowing what is so or what's really happening is the best way to know where you need to put your efforts to fix where things are broken. And then finally, if you need help getting your statistics set up, please feel free to contact me at robertnewrealitymedia.com or you can check out our website at newrealitymedia.com.